I am so excited to be here with David Mosholem. He is an acupuncturist here in the San Diego area, and he practices traditional East Asian medicine. Did I get that right, David? You did, yeah. I did, I did. Okay, good. And that includes many modalities like acupuncture and herbal medicine. So he doesn't just practice acupuncture. He also teaches at the doctoral program at Pacific College of Health and Science. And he is an incredible asset in my life. And I'm so happy that I can make this introduction to the Padres Petal Cause community. And we're going to dig in today since today is Cancer Prevention Day. Um, I've asked David to do a little share with us on how he feels his uh, knowledge and his area of expertise can lend towards cancer prevention. So David, let's kick it off. I know um, that you've been talking a lot lately with me about this idea of the body as an ecosystem. And, and what I wanna explore today with you is how does that tie into cancer prevention? Tell me a little bit more about what that means. Sure, uh, first, and thanks for having me. Uh, you are an asset into my life as well. I'm just so happy that we crossed paths. And um, yeah, you're just, I, I love when you come into the office and we always have great discussions and you're one of like my faves, if that's- such Oh, a I won't tell anybody that. We'll awesome. keep it between us. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, like, you know, Initially, when you talked about cancer prevention, I was trying to think of like some ways to sort of divide this up and, and, and have a discussion on, you know, very specific things and specific cancers. But, and, and really like what it comes down to, I think, is paying attention to your overall general health, right? If we, if we try to micromanage um, protecting against this or that or these or those, we're gonna drive ourselves mad and actually it'll probably be detrimental to our health because we'll just be stressed out and freaking out the whole time. So, <laughs> right, <laughs> uh, you know, putting some good thought into, you know, this specific topic, I think an overall, overall generalized, you know, plan to, you know, achieve, you know, the best health that you can is gonna be your best weapon. Um, not only just for cancer, but for, you know, any type of uh, disease that's out there. Um, when your body is running at an optimal level, it'll take care of itself. It's able to, you know, process and move things forward for you, heal itself. It has incredible, you know, it has incredible powers in that respect. So um, about the ecosystem. So, you know, as we evolved and every single living thing on this planet evolved, it evolved in a specific ecosystem, right? Um, you know, the ecosystem's limited by cl uh, climate, for an example. So we have oceans, we have deserts, we have forests, we have jungles, we have grasslands, we have all these different places. And, you know, as we evolve, we are evolving within this system and, and evolving to the opportunities that those, those ecosystems and environments give us. So, um, when we're doing that, our bodies are acclimating to that environment, to the nutrients that are going to be available to us, to the interactions with all the other things that are around us, um, working within the circadian rhythms of those places, you know, dark and light, the sleep cycle, all these, the seasons, all of these different things are sort of playing a role. And our body is very much uh, attuned to that and also affected by that. And so um, in addition to that, like we couldn't survive alone. Like even if we had a bunch of food, we still would not be able to survive alone. Like if we had a whole storage room of food that would last us, you know, our whole life, we're not going to be able to make it on our own. We need microbes. We need that circadian rhythm. We need other animals, we need plants, we need all these different things. We need moisture, heat, cold, dark, light. All, the, all these things that input into this ecosystem are ingrained in us, in our DNA, and in the way that we operate, in the way that we heal, in the way that we consume, so on and so forth. So when I think about like the body as this ecosystem, like one thing really stands out to me and it's, and it's sort of, you know, becoming very well known now, but it, the, the science and it hasn't been that prevalent for very long, maybe a decade or so. Uh, and that's like the microbiota, our microbiome. And um, to me, it's like, it really resonates with me, right? So um, that 
in itself is its own ecosystem and it and it's living in an ecosystem that we provide for it. So that could be within our gut, it could be on our skin. Um, for an example, like on our face alone, right underneath our nose is gonna have a whole different variety of species than it will, you know, a few centimeters away somewhere on our cheek because of the different micro ecosystem or microclimate and things that you know our body offers we breathe out of our nose we eat food so there's different things happening so there's going to be different so i'm multiple ecosystems all over so oh, i've got absolutely. ecosystem internally externally and what i have on my ecosystem right here is different than what i have on my elbow is that what you're saying yeah, absolutely yeah you're going to find incredible there. so yeah and there's even science out there that is looking at for an example uh profiles of different um microbiota and different organs uh, associated, for example, with lung cancer. They're profiling these, these uh, populations and seeing what, you know, the drivers of, of disease are within these different populations. So um, we've got all these different really exciting things happening uh, within the research community. And um, when I look at these things happening and I read about them, and I hear, you know, different discussions that are going on it really is running parallel with the traditional and ancient medicines that, that some of us practice and that our bodies are accustomed to and have evolved to be able to, you know, survive with. So, you know, unfortunately we're losing a lot of that, but luckily, you know, things are sort of like coming around. People are more familiar with like our, our traditional medicine and that sort of thing. So, uh, anyway, to tie that in with, you know, cancer prevention, when we're living symbiotically with these different organisms and providing them with an ecosystem, they're providing us with an ecosystem. Um, if we can live harmoniously within that, we're, we're benefiting very much from that. So for an example, um, when we have a meal, we are, um, we're not just feeding ourselves, but we're feeding a whole different population of microbes within our body. So, and there's wow. trillions of them. There's not, you know, there's not thousands or millions and there's, there's literally like trillions of them in our body right now. So I'm literally never sitting down and eating a meal by myself. Again, I'll never. always be sitting no. down at the table with trillions of organisms. That's, That's fascinating. Right. Yeah. So when you're feeling <laughs> lonely, just, you know, have a nice conversation. <laughs> You know, I like it, I like it.